Hello game fans and welcome to another review. This week we are looking at Anna Extended Edition by Calypso Media. Now Anna is a first person horror adventure sort of point and click game. Now in this game you find yourself at a familiar mill that you have seen in your dreams and now you are there in reality and you are looking for your lost love and all sorts of horrific things start to ensue. Now the first thing that will strike you about this game is the terrible launcher. Upon launching the game you'll get a launcher that asks you whether you want to play the original Anna or the extended edition. Now once you the problem with this is once you choose your option if you've got programs that track your gameplay such as Raptor it then thinks that you're no longer playing the game once you choose this option because that launcher closes and it doesn't recognize the game itself as the game it only recognizes the launcher as the game so you're not good it doesn't really necessarily work very well with Raptor the other problem is once it actually loads into this launcher the other problem I encountered was the it would not accept the CD key that I'd copied to clipboard through Steam it would not let me then let me allow that allow me to paste that into the game's Calypso launcher so I had to painstakingly copy it and type it out into the Calypso launcher which eventually worked and then I'm told that I have to log into a Calypso account so because I don't have a Calypso account I had to register for a Calypso account and even then you still have to go to your browser and go to your email confirm your account and then you will finally be allowed to log in and then you will finally be allowed to play this offline game now this for me was an unnecessarily protracted start and i can be fairly impatient so had i been playing this game because i wanted to play it and because i just bought it and intended to play it anyway i probably would have stopped playing at this point and that's not a reflection on the game itself, it's more of a refle reflection on me. I'm quite impatient, so... Launchers like this, they're not ideal. Once you get into the game, though, you there are a fair amount of options. And once you actually play the game itself, the first thing that strikes you is the, the brightness and the beauty of the game. It's actually quite a pretty game, it's quite a nice looking game. And it starts you outside the mill where you're in... You'll buy a lovely sort of babbling brook in the sunshine with wind blowing through the grass and the trees and it's actually really really nice however things change a little bit once you actually get, manage to get find your way into the mill once you get into the mill you are confronted with a very dark dark world a horrific world a very very atmospheric building with very low levels of light just sort of general candles here and there and while this world doesn't look quite as nice as the outside world it's still not a terrible terrible looking game I did find from time to time because of the low light levels I found it quite hard to see objects that you could interact with however once you sort of get used to the game then this becomes less of a problem Actually, a really nice feature of the game is the actual, the the torch that you have, the light that your torch casts, actually moves in a very realistic manner as you move around. And it really does actually help. It's little things like that that really help immerse you in the game. The other thing that really helps the immersion in the game is the sound. The sound effects in this game are actually really very, very good. And they've clearly spent a bit of time on this. They've got, there's lots of voiceover work in there, which is sort of generally for whispering and stuff in the background. And sometimes you can hear shouted, raised voices, and you can hear screams and stuff, and stuff going on in other rooms as you perform certain tasks. And again, this really does help the immersion. The uh, the voiceover work has been done really very well. The coming to the music, however, is while the music inside the building isn't too bad, although perhaps a little repetitive, some of the music, such as the music outside before you get into the mill, is absolutely atrocious. Even when 
the singing is in tune. It is horrendously cheesy music. Incredibly, incredibly gratingly loud, cheesy, out of tune music. Which thankfully subsides once you're actually into the building. The gameplay itself isn't bad. It's a mix of point and click and physics based stuff. So when sometimes when you're interacting with objects such as doors, you actually have to click on the doors and then drag them with the mouse rather than just click on the doors to open them which can create some fairly interesting things it is it's nice it's a bit less uh, repetitive than just clicking on everything all the time you can actually interact with things in a more meaningful way from time to time the rest of the gameplay is your fairly standard point and click fare you will click on an object to pick it up and then you have to Use the mouse wheel to select that object in your inventory and then click on other items. You can also right click on items in order to get some sort of information from them, textual information from your thoughts. The puzzles in the game are quite clever. They do range though. There are some very simple ones and there are some more difficult ones. There are ones that will really test your brain and you have to work out from the clues that you've been given other times it, you are really on your own and it is just a matter of trial and error but this is nice it's a nice mixture of different um different ways of doing things and it keeps the game relatively fresh from beginning to end ultimately launcher problems aside this isn't a bad little game at all and it will keep you fairly interested for a while even if you aren't into these type of games. If you are into these type of games, then I think it will keep you fairly entertained for the few hours that the game lasts and is most definitely worth picking up. As always, thank you for watching and please do like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.